In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord, in your love and compassion, hear us and forgive us our sins as we call out to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent shepherds and valiant martyrs, grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the church. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, let no one have contempt for your youth, but set an example for those who believe. In speech, conduct, love, faith, and purity. Until I arrive, attend to the reading, exhortation, and teaching. Do not neglect the, the gift you have, which was conferred on you through the prophetic word with the imposition of hands by the presbytery. Be diligent in these matters, be absorbed in them, so that your progress may be evident to everyone. Attend to yourself and to your teaching. Persevere in both tasks, for by doing so you will save both yourself and those who listen to you. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. God. How great are the works of the Lord, how great, How great are, are the works, works of the Lord. The works of his hands are faithful <coughs> and just. Sure are all his precepts, reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. How, How great, great are, are the works, works of the Lord. Lord. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. How, How great, great are, are the, the works, works of the Lord. Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Prudent are all who live by it. His praise endures forever. How, How great are the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. A certain Pharisee invited Jesus to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at table. Now, there was a sinful woman in that city who learned that he was at the table in the house of the Pharisee. Bringing an alabaster flask of ointment, she stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears. Then she wiped them with her hair, kissed them, and anointed them with the ointment. When the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus said to him in reply, Simon, I have something to say to you. Tell me, teacher, he said. Two people were in debt to a certain creditor. One owed 500 days wages and the other owed 50. Since they were unable to repay the debt, he forgave it for both. Which of them will love him more? Simon said in reply, the one, I suppose, whose larger debt was forgiven. He said to him, You have judged rightly. Then he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? When I entered your house, you did not give me water for my feet, 
but she has bathed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You did not give me a kiss, but she has not ceased kissing my feet since the time I entered. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with ointment. So I tell you, her many sins have been forgiven. Hence, she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is given loves little. He said to her, your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, your faith has saved you, go in peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Jesus teaches the Pharisee and all of us that forgiveness is also reflected in a response of gratitude and love towards God. Even more so, faith creates one to pour out their heart and their soul asking for that forgiveness as this woman did by her actions to the one who has been forgiven much to this one love is given much so we ask the lord to help us always to not judge others but to also seek forgiveness and the forgiveness that we receive that it would be repaid in kind with love of god and love and service of our neighbor. Let us stand to pray. Trusting in the love that empowers us to bear witness in the world, we bring our petitions to God. For all members of the church, may Christ conform us ever more closely to himself. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God open their hearts and lead them to greater compassion and selflessness in their service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to trust in God's love, may they encounter the mercy and tenderness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may we have the grace to know God's will and follow it freely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have passed away, may they rest in the peace of God's embrace, most especially for Burton Dale Austin, being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For whom else shall we pray? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for the Doherty family uh, as they bury their father and husband, Joe, tomorrow, and for the fam Moody family as Richard is being buried on Saturday. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. <clears throat> for a friend, his name is Paul, who was in the hospital with COVID. And his two children who also have COVID, very young, they're in Ohio. So let's pray for them. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear these prayers we offer you today, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God
pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all our trials. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, Cornelius and Cyprian, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear witness through Jesus the Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, especially Burton being remembered at this mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, <clears throat> in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Amen. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs St. Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good day, all. Good day, all.